amid the bustle of urban Kowloon lies a model for future buildings. This is Hong Kong's first zero-carbon building. The three-story structure houses a model eco-office as well as an eco-home, both equipped with some of the latest cutting-edge green technology. The project aims to go beyond being carbon neutral by generating more energy than it consumes. It achieves this through the building's climate responsive design, which maximizes natural ventilation and lighting. So-called green active systems, such as the use of these high volume, low speed ceiling fans, enhance airflow, cutting the need for air conditioning, while an underfloor displacement system is used for efficient air conditioning. The cool air is coming from the bottom and it goes through your body first. The air gets warmer by going through your body, then obviously rises up. So when you've got a, such a large void space on the top, really, you don't care. So by achieving the same comfort level, uh, you use less energy. So that's really the benefit of the floor cooling. Electricity is derived from renewable energy, two-thirds from biofuel produced on-site using restaurant food waste, and the rest from solar energy. The building, though, is not just a showpiece of what could be. It serves as a test lab for the construction industry. Some 2,800 sensors have been installed throughout the building to provide real-time monitoring of information such as temperature, emissions and humidity. We want to test all those technologies uh, and to see how it uh, works in practice. And then we will evaluate their costs, their performance, and then we'll disseminate the information to the industry stakeholders with the view to promote the suitable technology and its their application in Hong Kong. Outside, a 2,000 square meter area is a green oasis, further contributing to the building's positive influence on the climate. More than 200 native trees make this Hong Kong's first urban native woodland. At the moment, it doesn't look like a uh, woodland, it's almost like a nose. <laughs> it's a small tree. In two or three years' time, it will look very different. Dr. Lee says taking into account the embodied energy of the construction process itself also helps ensure the building leaves a low carbon footprint. Builders took steps such as sourcing supplies locally and using renewable materials such as bamboo or these paver blocks made from recycled glass and fly ash which help cool the environment by encouraging water evaporation. All pieces of the larger zero carbon building project, which itself promotes the government's goal of cutting carbon intensity by up to 60% by 2020.